Hello, my friends. Miss Glenn here. Welcome to math lesson number six. We are going to go ahead and get started today with a fun warm-up activity. So I need you to stand in your spot. And we're gonna play a game called red light, green light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you a number and we're gonna start at that number and count on or count up, okay? And um, when I say red light, you have to stop, freeze in your place. So green light, count on, count up. Red light, freeze. I'll give you an example. Mm, 18, so I would think 18, green light. 19, 20, 21, 22, red light. And I have to freeze until I'm given the next number. Okay, your turn, let's do it together. 15, think, 15. green light, 16, 17, 18, 19, red light, 28, green light, 29, 30, 31, 32, red light, 35, green light, 36, 37, 38, 39, red light, last one, 48, green light, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, red light, and sit down in your spot, good job. So that little activity helps us practice counting on from any number that we're given. So we're gonna start today with our application problem. So I need you to get your application journal. If you don't have an application journal, you can use a piece of paper or a whiteboard. If you do have your journal, you're gonna to flip to the very next blank page. Remember, we don't wanna go in the middle of the book or at the end of the book. We wanna go right in order. So I found my very next blank page. And then I'm gonna ask you just to close your eyes. Close your eyes, we're gonna visualize the math problem. So as I'm reading, picture it in your head. Tom has four red cars and three green cars. Dave has five red cars and two green cars. Dave thinks he has more cars than Tom has. Is Dave right? Draw a picture to show how you know. Write a number bond to show each of the boys sets of cars. Okay, here we go. Um, let's think, we have two people in the story and we have to find how many cars each of them has. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line down my paper to split it in half so that I don't get confused between Tom and Dave, just like this, okay? And on one side, I'm gonna put a T at the top to show that that is Tom's side, again, so I don't get confused. We do a lot of labeling in math where we label uh, groups or amounts and it helps us keep track of everything so that we don't get confused. So let's read it again. Tom has four red cars and three green cars. Okay, I'm gonna do that first. I'm going to draw four red cars and remember, I'm actually just drawing dots because I don't have that much time to draw cards, cars. So I'm drawing dots to represent the cars. Four red cars. And I'm going to put an R to show that those are his red cars. That's the red group. And three green cars. And I'm going to put, what do you think? To show that those are the green cars. What letter? G. Yes, very good. Three green cars. Okay, now the directions also say to write a number bond to show the set of cars. Okay, now I did something new today. I used circles to represent my number bond. And that's something that you can do today too. So we usually draw squares, but you can also use circles, okay? So whatever you prefer, as long as you have your two parts and your one whole. Now we have to think, what is the first part of the number bond going to be? Hmm, how many cars did Tom have in the first group? Four in his group of red, very good. And how many are in his next group? What's the next part going to be? Three for his green cars, good. 
All right, so let's see. Hmm. I don't know. How am I, how am I going to find the hole now? Okay, well, usually in class, we do a lot of partner talking during this time. So I might say, turn and talk to your partner, but we're not together. So I just brought a little stuffed animal with me today, and that's going to be my partner. If you want to pause the video and run and go get a stuffed animal, you can do that too. Okay, so I would like you to talk to your partner or think in your head if you don't have a stuffed animal by you. How can we find the hole for this problem? How can we find the hole? Hmm, I wonder if we could count all the dots. We could count all the dots. We could count all the dots. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. We could start with the first group and count on because then that's less counting for us. So I'm gonna start with the first group, which was four, and I'm gonna count on. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I found my total. So I know that Tom has a total of seven cars. Great. Now we have to find out how many cars Dave has because he thinks he has more cars than Tom. Oh my goodness. So this is Tom's area. This is going to be Dave's area. What letter should I put at the top to show that this represents Dave's area? Dave, D, D. Okay, there's my D for Dave. Let's listen to how many cars Dave had in each color. Dave has five red cars and two green cars. Okay, go ahead and draw your five red cars for Dave. and your two green cars for Dave. So I did the same and I put an R for red and a G for green. But am I done with Dave's area? What else do I need to draw? I need to make my number bond. Okay. Turn and talk to your partner or just think in your head if you don't have a partner. What is the first part going to be in Dave's number bond? Okay, what was the first group? What was the first group that we drew? How many are in Dave's red group? Five, yeah, so that's gonna be the first group. Very good. And how many are in his second group? How many did he have in his green group? Two, awesome. All right, let's see if we can find the whole number or the total. Um, how can we do that again? Oh, yeah, you had a really good idea last time. We're going to start with the first group and count on. So five, six, seven. Okay. Thank you. Now, we have our number bonds complete. So now we have to answer the question. Um, Dave thought that he had more cars than Tom. Does Dave have more cars than Tom? Mm -mm, he does not have more cars than Tom. Does Tom have more cars than Dave? Also, no. Do they have the same amount of cars? Yes, they do have the same amount of cars. They just have different amounts in each group that they have of red and green. So some have more red, some have more green, but all together they have the same amount of cars. Great job. You can go ahead and put a smiley face or a star on your paper because you did an awesome job. I chose to do a star today. And then you can put your application journal to the side and we will move on. Okay. I need you to have your stuffed animal partner for this. And also your number bond template number three. Or if you don't have that, I'm gonna show you how to draw it, okay? So this is what you need to draw. We're gonna draw a sideways number bond. So you can draw your first box, okay? And then we're gonna draw our two lines because we're drawing our number bond sideways. And this is where your part boxes will go over here. Okay, so there's my sideways number bond. Under that, I'm going to draw my number sentence frame. So I have my first number box plus 
my second number box equals my third number box. And I'm gonna do the same thing right underneath that. So I can write two number sentences for whatever I find. Here we go. I'm going to show you a picture and I need you to talk with your partner about what you see in the picture. Okay, here we go. Hmm, what do you see in that picture? Okay, let's see. So we see two different kinds of animals. We see frogs and ducks. So we have to figure out how can we separate this group of animals into two different groups. So one way we could separate them is we could do frogs in one group and ducks in the other group. Do you see another way that we could separate them? Good, yeah, great idea. We could do the big animals, the adult animals. I see a, a big duck and a big frog, so two and the little animals in the other group. So I think that's a fabulous idea. Thank you for sharing. We can do that one as our first example. So if we look at this picture and then we take a look at our number bond, what is our first part going to be? What is, how many animals are in the first group if we separate them by big animals and little animals? How many big animals do we have? Show me on your hand the math way. Yeah, we have two big animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a two in my first part. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to my picture and see how many small animals do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six will be my second part. How am I gonna find my total? I could go back and count every single animal. But it would be faster if I started with my big part. So which one's bigger, two or six? Six, I'll put that number in my head and I'll count on how many more? Two more, so six, seven, eight. And eight is my total. Great job, so we've completed our number bond. But now we have to fill out our number sentences or who remembers the fancy word for number sentence? Equation, very good. Now we have to fill in our equations. So let's see, we know that part plus part equals whole, just like up here, part plus part equals whole. So what is our first part that we found? What was our first part? How many big animals? Our first part was two. Good, plus how many more? What was our next part? Six equals our total which is eight animals all together. So two small animals plus six big animals equals eight animals in total. Beautiful. But there's another number sentence. What am I supposed to do down here? Write the same exact thing? No, I can change it in a way. So all I have to do is flip-flop my two parts. So this time I'm gonna put the six first and the two seconds, so six plus two equals eight. Because remember, we talked about this. The total stays the same. If I have a group of two over here and a group of three over here, I have five all together. If I swap them around and I put the two over here and the three over here, how many do I still have? I still have five. It doesn't change if I'm adding them together, right? Great job. Okay, so. What I need you to do is you can go back and you can erase the numbers inside of your forms, right? Up top in your number bond and down in the bottom in your number sentence frames, right? So go ahead and erase all your numbers and you can look back at this picture and see if you can split these animals up into two different groups. So we did big animals and little animals, but pause the video, look at the picture and see, hmm, is there a way that I can split these animals up in a different way? And then you can go back and fill out the number bond and your number sentences. All right, you guys did a great job. Um, I need you to do two thumbs up. 
point at yourself. What do we say? I am a mathematician. Good job, guys. You are rocking it. And I will see you for the next 